Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Slay the Spire. Let's play the Silent Ascension level 20. Technically, we have won Ascension 20 as the Ironclad, but not yet as the Silent. Choose a rare card for a curse. Early shop. Early enough. We'll do it. Get Corpse Explosion. Ah. Take bullet time, upgraded with backflip, it's okay, but man, that actually just like kind of sucks. <laughs> that is not the selection you want. Three like just rares that just don't do anything for you. And I say, I, I mean it when I say it doesn't really do anything for us, because if we have a, a pretty decent chance of drawing a curse or a zero cost card with bullet time. So right now, whenever we play bullet time, we're saving at most one energy to play a card. That's not really that worthwhile. We need something a little bit better. Corpse explosion, die, 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 uh, adrenaline burst. That's what you're looking for there. I hate doing it, but I'm gonna skip, because our deck currently has no identity. Accuracy is good for a shiv deck, but you have to really play the, this card in order to make the shivs worthwhile. I'd much rather have strength increasing in, in some fashion, because that strength increasing hits on turn one. But accuracy is a bit slow, and right now it's worthless if we don't have any shiv cards. It is a rare, not rare, uncommon, it's uncommon, um, you know what? I'm actually going to take Acrobatics. I, I, I thought about it, and I'm going to take Acrobatics because then we can upgrade Bullet Time, and now we can actually play it with Acrobatics at the same time. Card removal? Meat on the Bone. Really, really, really good. So I am going to go to the shop. We have a curse to remove. We also have a lot of money. You know? Hand of Greed, Dash, they're pretty good cards, especially if you can play them with bullet time. So let's remove Doubt, and I will take a Hand of Greed and a Dash. Let's make this an expensive deck, maybe we'll get Sneko. <laughs> um, but first, we'll upgrade... Let's upgrade Hand of Greed, why not? Let's see if we can make it work. Bullet time turn one is okay. I was thinking about buying the uh, Bag of Prep, but I decided against it. Maybe I should have actually bought it now that I think about it. We can kill you. Gain gold. We should delay on fights, but only as long as we think we are able to. We don't want to delay forever. Who wants to delay forever? But with one slime, I think we can probably just delay forever. Like, we, we, we either have to draw a block or an attack to kill him. And we drew Hand of Greed, so we picked up 50 gold on one fight. Backstab is good damage, turn one, but I'd much rather have like a bullet time or an acrobatics into a bullet time. So let's skip. Fight the elite. Acrobatics bullet time. Yo, it's good. Now, <laughs> it kind of sucks because we only have two attacks and then four blocks, but you know, at least we got our combo. <laughs> <laughs> Hand of Greed. You know, it's good damage, but we can't kill an enemy with it. We can get someone down to the point that they will die next turn, but I think I think you just dash and take 10. It kind of sucks though. But hey, if we draw Hand of Greed, we can kill him. Oh, let's go. Although we are going to take 10 more damage, but let's do it. I'm getting very greedy, but it's our best damage dealing attack actually, so I'm actually not that sad about it. You know, I'm not that upset about getting Hand of Greed every turn. Gonna take another 10. Uh, this is what Meat on the Bone is for. We can Bullet Time. Oh, I didn't save the energy for Bullet Time. I screwed up, guys. My lord, he's done it. 
got another hand of greed. It's almost paid for itself, along with just being a good attack. Gonna take another five. It's okay. Again, that's what meat on the bone is for. We still might want to rest before the elite fight just so that we don't die on the elite fight, but if the question mark is combat, we could just heal from the combat. No, we're gonna definitely have to rest. I'm not gonna go for Hand of Greed. We have enough. We have enough. Thousand Cuts Blur Dagger Throw. It all kind of sucks, but Blur Bullet Time does work a little bit. Ma Bank is interesting, but if we buy stuff at the shop, we'll uh, lose the gold. But I'm gonna take it. I like gold. We can gain some more money and then on the next floor go to a shop, I think. Gremlin Knob, you suck. You suck big time, my dude. This is what we want Dash for. This is actually why I added Dash, specifically for this combat. And here's the thing, we have a survivor and a strike. We have to do 21 damage within the next two turns, or otherwise we're gonna die. I think we need to acrobatics for draw. And then now what we can do is uh, bullet time. Strike, 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 defend, survivor. Offset the damage as much as possible. One attack kills him. <laughs> Where's my hand of greed? Where's my greedin'? Uh, that was unfortunate. What, what were we, what were we supposed to do there, though? You know, that's the uh, the elite fight that specifically counters uh, half of every card in every deck. So, you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I, I hate the Gremlin Knob. He is so not fun. He, ca he counters playing cards. Oh my God. Give me a Deadly Poison. Upgrade two random cards. It did hit Deadly Poison and give me a heal. Just in case we do fight an enemy here. We did not fight an enemy here, so you know what? Give me the gold back. <laughs> I'm going a little bit up and down, up and down, up and down on the HP, but that's okay. Give me a free deflect. Hey, Gremlin Knob, guess what? You're dead. Molten Egg. You gotta love an early Molten Egg. We can add in so many good cards with that now. I think here I'm gonna upgrade probably a Neutralize. Sucks if you fight the sentries, but against Log of Villain you like it. And then we're gonna fight the Elite. Hope that we live. It is Log of Villain. Log of Villain makes me want to wait for Deadly Poison. Yes, we lose out on the Backstab turn one, but we can always play Backstab in the future. What I want is I want to make sure he's weak for a turn, and I want to make sure that he is poisoned, so I kind of like this better. I'm gonna put a block. Take two damage. And, and when we draw backstab again, we can just play it for free. So, there you go. You played it for free. On top of 15 block. Keep the poison going. He's at 44. We probably don't have him on this turn, but we can always fire potion him to kill him if we need to. So he's at... Next turn he's going to be at 34 with 9 poison, which means before he attacks again, he will be at... 25. 
So we need we need to do five damage within two turns. Two strikes will do it. Or one deadly poison does it. So I think you deadly poison and then block. And then fire potion will kill him on the next turn. You take six, but he's dead. In fact, we might even be able to save the potion. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Kunai. Hmm. It's an interesting one. It definitely makes me want to take shivs. And we can transition into a shiv deck. The problem is, and it's a problem with both shivs and poison, Molten Egg does not upgrade the shiv cards because all the shiv cards are skills and powers. But it also does not upgrade most of the poison cards because most of the poison cards are skills and powers. So Molten Egg can give us an upgraded poison stab, which is decent. And it can work to give us more decks, but it's not a shiv card, but I still think it's worth adding in. Never mind. Now we can add in all the shiv cards. <laughs> okay, this is a very interesting deck we've got here. This is extremely interesting. I think I will rest because every card is going to be upgraded. We don't want regret. It's a lot of gold, but play it safe. And I think I think like all we need to do right now is just add in every single Blade Dance and Cloak and Dagger, and then we have a fantastic run. I will put a Blade Dance, sorry, not a Blade Dance, I will put a Backflip in the deck. It's upgraded, it's good, I like it. Ooh, double egg, double molten egg, toxic egg is a very, very, very interesting start. But we really do need to add in better attacks now, and blocks, and things that give us shivs. Endless Agony works because it's two-thirds of the way to Kunai. It's not a shiv, but it exhausts itself. I will fight because I think we have a very strong deck. We will also be able to get some um, decks up right now. 15 plus 12, 27. We can definitely uh, fire potion one. So I think you do that and you save the flex potion. Yeah. So I think you want to backstab, poison stab, neutralize, potion, defend, defend. How much damage can we do? I, I want to make sure if, if we can kill the 44, we can kill the 44. So this is going to do 27 damage plus 4. That is 31 damage. It's more than enough to kill the sentry on the left. Ice him. Defend. Defend. This is why you have the Endless Agonies, give you a little bit more dex. Now we're taking zero on a survivor, it's pretty good. Could have played the Flex Potion, still might want to, really. Hmm, no, I'm happy with this. Strike, strike, strike. More dex up, gotta love it. Now we're three dex up, a basic block is eight. We could make a basic block nine and take one, but because he's so close to death, I th think I'm just gonna play both defends. Ah, could have been, could have been better. You know, actually, perfectly fine. He's dead. I think we took no damage on an elite fight, which is crazy. I hope we get a good card. Do we need another backflip? We can start removing strikes and defends, but we have a lot of them to remove. I'm gonna add it. You wanna know why? I'm actually kinda hoping that for the boss relic, we get the card that 
transforms all of your strikes and defense? Because everything would be upgraded if it's all transformed. Seems like a pretty good deal, doesn't it? And honestly, backflips are pretty good. So I think I am going to... Might as well flex. We want to get as much damage out there as quickly as possible. The poison is just a nice little value add. Endless, endless poison, decks up. Taking seven damage, not that bad. And on this turn, gain more decks. If we can gain decks on a turn, we really should. And if not, well, we should probably still just hit as hard as we can. He's half dead. Poison slowly chucking through him. Well laid plans would also be another good card to add in. And I think I would take a Runic Pyramid if it showed up. And we had no other good options. You know, being able to hold on to the free deflect or uh, good damage attacks, play them at the right opportunity would be good. You have 20 poison. He's definitely dead before he hits us again. And we're gonna make it to the second act with a relatively strong deck. Weakness potion. First, adrenaline malaise. Oh my lord, this is a tough call. I think... I think a burst is wonderful because it's going to be upgraded by default. If we start getting cards that add shivs, we can get more shivs from it. Uh, adrenaline is also nice because you can get momentum, but it exhausts. But burst is amazing all the time. We, we want all of these is the thing, um, but I'm gonna go burst first. This sucks, actually. Um, we don't need Eternal Feather because we're gonna rest at campfires anyways. I think you just go Ring of the Serpent for one card draw every turn and you say that that was a horrible, horrible boss relic selection. Not what we wanted. We wanted energy and we did not get it. So I am gonna go Shop Path. I might even go Elite Path, fight one, but I wanna go to a shop and buy something. But like on this turn, we can burst, backflip, deadly poison, neutralize, we're taking no damage, we get some value out of it. Burst allows us to play, you know, four defends if we need to. It's not that bad. Burst. The, the thing is, I want all three of those cards. I want Malaise, because it's so good against bosses and elites. And I definitely want the... Hold on, can I put up enough block? Yeah. And I definitely want the uh, Adrenaline, especially with Burst. Burst Adrenaline means that you can play a lot of cards on that turn. But it is what it is. You know, we took no damage on the Shelled Parasite. Still adding in upgraded cards. Blade Dance is what we're looking for. First Blade Dance would be perfect. Didn't get it. In fact, Burst is useless. So we're probably just gonna knock a bird down and weaken the other one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we only have six attacks in hand. Actually, we don't we can knock one bird down and weaken the other one with neutralize. We don't have to use potions. So endless, endless strike. Strike, neutralize, backstab. We at least kill one. Isn't Lizard Tail good? Lizard Tail is a good relic, but ideally you would prefer to take a boss relic that helps you to not die, you know? You'd prefer to just not have to use it, because if you don't have to use it, then you you get a more permanent benefit, you know? If I take Lizard Tail, what if I die? Here, against the, the frickin' birds. 
then Lizard Tail gets used up immediately, and it's like, okay, well, that was a worthless boss relic. It's already been used up. But if I get something that's like, you get plus one energy, and the en- and you can't play more than, well, I mean, you wouldn't take Velvet Choker, but you- let's say you-, you take a good energy relic. Okay, then maybe you don't die on the birds in the first place. You put up enough block, you do one extra damage via one extra attack, you knock a bird down, he doesn't buff himself, you start to steamroll in that facet, you know? That's why I personally don't like Lizard Tail, because it, it's too... It, it doesn't give you any, like, permanent steamrolling benefit. But anyways, Blade Dance. <laughs> uh, we're going to put up two blocks. Take no damage. We're going to knock a bird down. I'm going to knock the one that has strength. We didn't need to, to worry about the order of things, because we were able to put up enough block anyways. And then here... We'll ice you. So far, again, taking no damage. Gotta love it. You're doing no damage. Burst, unfortunately, is useless. Like, I would love a Runic Pyramid, because then you could hold Burst, and then Burst the good cards that you want to duplicate. Runic Pyramid would have been amazing. We'll take a Piercing Whale. Do you want to go to the shop? We will remove basic strikes. They are no good. They actually are pretty good. The thing is, is that you want to uh, also remove basic defense now. You want to remove them both. So I'm going to remove a basic defend. You want the strikes so that you can actually get sure, uh, kunai, I suppose. We will... Dramatic Entrance. We don't need to buy Whetstone because we're going to only be removing basic strikes. Everything else is literally upgraded. Uh, prepared is interesting for draw, but a little unnecessary. Meal Ticket. We don't need healing because we have full upgrades. Catalyst is interesting. I think you should take it. Accuracy. Um, to make shivs better is, is worth it. But I think I think we're actually set. Thinking ahead is also pretty interesting. Draw two cards. But we have six card draw already. I don't think it's super important. So, dramatic, backstab, strike, poison, strike, strike. Eh, I can't play the other one, that's okay. Dramatic and backstab, by the way, they're a little bit less effective right now, and that's because. Yo, it's actually really good. Um, it's a little bit less effective right now, and that's because the Ring of the Snake has been replaced by Ring of the Serpent, and we have one less card draw on turn one. Yo, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Chris Jambon, hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Shiv and Poison. The thing is, it kind of feels like a Shiv and Poison deck could actually work here. You know, add a Blade Dance, add a Cloak and Dagger, add Catalyst. You have Burst, you can Burst Catalyst with Deadly Poison, put a lot of poison on an enemy, and then you use the Shivs to gain decks, and then you get a lot of block. Kind of feels like it could work. Very scared about fighting a elite, but I don't really want to go to a shop. I want to save my gold, so let's go for it. Let's go for one. Not that bad. Shiv poison, poison is good if you get and Venom. And venom is pretty decent. So I think here, you Catalyst, Get him to 54 poison, and then we'll just put up as much block as we can. Which means we're taking 6 damage. Taking 6 damage to kill an elite? That's amazing! <laughs> That's incredible. He's dead. Yeah, I don't think accuracy is worth it because it's kind of like 
like poison is kind of the end game. Shivs and venom is just the shivs are just here to get me poison on enemy within venom now, and also to get me dex. So in venom is an interesting one. Whenever you deal attack damage that is unblocked, apply one poison. We can add in a power, sure. I don't love it, but it's something. It's too expensive to play now, but we'll we'll get it to be playable later. Kind of hate this, but let's knock him down. It's kind of hoping we could uh, backflip into the burst, but the deck is getting a little bit thick for that. I mean, two defends means we're taking none. Unfortunately, it means we're adding dazes, but Ring of the Serpent is a little bit of protection. We're vulnerable this turn. You're weak. We do have enough block thanks to that dex gain. Five dazes, five cards. I hate it. Well, he's gonna hit us for 13. I don't like Envenom. I, I think Envenom is far too slow in your average deck. Like, yeah, you can add like two or three poison per turn if you play a bunch of shivs, like on average. But to me, that doesn't that, that doesn't feel that good. But if we upgrade it, if we can, you know, play it on the cheap, maybe it's going to be amazing. Finish your fits. Um. We actually have to fight another elite, so I'm kind of thinking elite rest elite. Because I kind of screw up our path a little bit, unfortunately. Well, you might as well do it on this turn. You might as well toss the weakness. We're going to be playing it neutralized as soon as we get it. Yeah, we took more damage on the enemy than we did on the elite. <laughs> I want the dex. And then we can put up enough block. It's doing 18. Burst, blade dance. Like, that's pretty good with Envenom, but I still think Envenom's too expensive right now. Then we'll. We can actually play some good cards. Well, good enough. We at least kept him weak for a couple of more turns. We might even actually have him dead on this turn. That's 48 damage? <laughs> Yo, very good fight, bag of prep, love it. Escape plan. Almost certainly gonna want that in the deck somewhere. Ninja Scroll! Why not? Even if it discards the, the shivs, what do I care? It's basically plus one dex. So I think we will upgrade. We have enough HP. We'll get in Venom. Costing one. We'll fight another elite. Let's see what happens with our cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, Bag of Prep is worth one. That's still good. I think it's worth one, because we have six cards, then three, that's nine, and then Bag of Prep is one. Yeah, that's still really good. So, Dramatic, Shiv, 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 Poison, Backstab, Strike, Poison. So we started this combat two decks up. It's tempting to do a burst backflip to try to get a card worth playing. But getting Invenom out there is also pretty decent. This is exactly what I wanted with Cloak and Dagger. But if we play it, we're going to probably discard some shivs, but I actually don't really mind that that much. We gain one dex. We lose Invenom, we lose Finisher, but... You know, that's, that's just a little bit of bad draw on that turn, I think. 
Piercing Whale. Now you're doing nine damage and I can probably kill your tiny little friend. Very good. Gremlin Wizard, probably killable. This seems like an okay time for Envenom, because two Endless Agonies will kill the Gremlin Wizard, and then we can hit Gremlin Leader, and then also Catalyst him, I think. So Envenom, Endless Agony one, two, you're dead. Finisher, Catalyst, you're dead. <laughs> that one combat against the guy who added dazes to my deck, that was the one who killed me. Who did the most damage to me. The elites were handling. I hate it. Bullet time, because we have six cards, is actually worth it. Terror is also worth it with the shiv damage. But I think I'm going to go bullet time because we have a couple of backflips. And if we ever get it drawn on the same turn, we're going to be happy. We're going to be happy that we can play, you know, ten cards for free. I will duplicate... And I think I will duplicate a burst, because it's rare. A free, no, that wasn't a free Endless Agony, that was uh, Mercury Hourglass. This sucks, because this guy is annoying, but we have a Piercing Whale, so it's actually not that bad. We can even Envenom Burst Piercing Whale, take no damage. I guess we didn't need to Burst. It's pure, oh, because it's upgraded. I thought it wasn't upgraded, and it would only drop it by six. I was wrong. Anyways, backstab. Uh, give me a dramatic entrance. Shiv. Endless Agony. Shiv. Shiv. You want to play your, sh your low damage attacks to punch through the armor. Ideally. We lost out on a single strike by playing it in that particular turn order. It's actually not that bad. We should Blade Dance first. Then we get the extra decks up. Then we can play a Cloak and Dagger Neutralize. Then we can play Deflect, taking no damage. Four decks up on the fight is wonderful. And you're dead. Even Snake Plant does not stand a chance against this deck. Do we need Bouncing Flask? No. Do we need Prepared? Not really. Dagger Throw? No. Odd on Fire. Thank you for the follow. Hello, welcome. Weirdly enough, we don't even really need to upgrade cards, but I am going to upgrade Basic Defense. At this point. You might as well. And th this is a good bullet time turn. This is actually exactly what I wanted. You can backflip for draw, then bullet time, then play more cards. FHTV forever, thank you for the follow as well. So, in Venom, Shiv, 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 Backstab, Dramatic, Neutralize. I'm gonna get draw? Ugh. You might as well backflip to see if you can get something that gives you a benefit, and we didn't, but that's okay. I guess I, I played one energy worth of something. Oh, I played in Venom, that's why I couldn't do what I wanted to do. It's still fine. We should gain dex before we play Escape Plan. So, Endless, Endless, Strike. Escape Plan, Cloak and Dagger. Defend. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm a little bit more aggressive these days on playing my potions. I think it's working out so far. Seems like a good piercing whale turn. I don't think we can get enough block, so piercing whale. Defend. Poison stab. We have to remove the basic strikes and defense from our deck, though. That's the next step if we can make it happen. But I love this. First blade dance. I'd really love the Catalyst, the Collector, actually.
like hit him with the shivs and then and then triplicate the damage from catalyst. Because that puts him on a clock. It puts him on one hell of a clock. And this is exactly what we, what we wanted from bullet time. Not perfect, but at least we will still have a lot of cards to play. So Shiv, Shiv, you're not going to do damage to me on this turn. You know, a Calipers might actually be kind of nice in this deck. We're putting up a lot of block on a lot of weird turns. Strike, finisher. Nah, you just defend, defend. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you get a fire potion, and after image seems pretty good. We'll upgrade it. Fus fusion hammer. We, we don't need to upgrade cards. We want to upgrade after image, yes, but... I'd much rather have extra energy than an upgraded after image. We'll just play after image when it shows up. We 99. Our deck is completely upgraded except for strikes and defense. This is fine. Now we should fight elites. We're good against elites. I do want to visit a shop. I'd rather not visit two. So we can skip. But I'd rather fight the elite. But we don't want to skip the right. So we'll skip the first shop. Fight an elite. Go to a shop. Fight an elite. Choose a path from there. Upgraded after image makes the bag useless, right? I think that the after image gets placed to the left, and then you will just draw the same number of cards, basically. That's what I think would happen, but I don't know. Dramatic. Piercing Whale. Shiv. Shiv. Backstab. Shiv. Strike. I'd rather take zero, so I will play the... Uh, other defend. I don't think we had lethal, because that, that was a non-upgraded strike, if I'm not mistaken. But I love this turn. That's two decks up. Then we can get more block and draw. That's another decks up, and we can get a kill. We can get two kills on this turn, so I think you definitely go for it. So they're doing... Or do you go for it? Let's keep them alive. Why not? We're five decks up, taking no damage. And only one enemy is attacking on this turn, you gotta love it. So after image, escape plan, cloak and dagger, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I think you want a leg sweep. The weakness is extremely worthwhile. You know, we can smoke bomb if we have to. You might as well play the backflip first to see what you get. I think you do skate plan, I think you do after image, and you just play your hand. One dex, two dex. Do a lot of damage, gain a lot of block. He's not quite, they're not quite dead, but they're getting there. It's a lot of damage though, admittedly. Uh, can we kill you with a potion? Do 20 damage, you'll be down to 28 HP. We can get this to do seven. We can get this to do 14. And we can get this to do another 18. 14 plus 18 is 32. 32 plus a potion will kill. And then we can get 16 block, take five, kill the orb walker on the next turn. It means we can't play in Venom. But do we have to play in Venom to kill him? Let's run the math again. Six plus seven plus 16. That's 22 plus 7, that's 29 plus 20. That should be a kill. No, why am I thinking this is going to do times 2? It's only times 1, so it's not going to get a kill. Okay, so in Venom, strike, 7, 14. This will do 9 damage, not 18. So that's 23 damage, that's not a kill. 
You know, we tried. I'd rather not get hit for 40, is basically what it boils down to. So we're gonna skip this shop, go to this shop instead. We also get a little bit of extra. <laughs> we get a little bit of extra something something from the. Uh... Yoink. Get a little bit of extra something something from the, uh, whatever you call it. Look, I know what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. Mob bank, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> so, both normalities are now gone. Decent enough. Uh, we're going normalities, I'm gonna try to remove them. We have a shop on the next act. But also, we have a pretty thick deck, the normalities aren't gonna kill us. And now we can skip all of the elites and just fight normal enemies and then just try to uh, get something good out of the shops themselves. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get the key. Visit the shop. E remove a card. Remove a normality. You might as well buy at this point, I think. So let's buy. Buy. I think you want a cloak and dagger. I think you want a tropic brew. We can duplicate burst after image bullet time and venom. I don't think we need another burst, but would we ever feel bad about getting bursts? I think the answer is no. So I'm gonna burst again. Bandage up for healing. You know, we can likely burst it. Why not? Uh. I don't think we need Caltrops, so I'm going to say no on that. Uh, I think what I am going to do though is buy just a regen potion instead of Entropic Brew. I think this is a little bit random. You know, actually, emergency situation. And Glass Knife is good damage, but we don't need it. And Mayhem is decent, but we don't need it. Especially going up against the Timekeeper, I don't really want a Mayhem to play a random card that might not be good. We only have three energy though, but like I can't upgrade this card. So it's gonna be two to play it, which I don't love. So I'm gonna skip it. And we can also skip this elite. We could fight this elite. But if it's Reptomancer, I'm gonna be very sad about it. But let's do it anyways. Oh no, <laughs> that's what the potions are for. Dramatic. Give me a bandage. Me backstab, endless, endless, shiv, 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 backflip. First, blade dance. We're already four decks up, which is really good. Now you are doing a lot of damage, and we have normality. So, what do you do? I think you leg sweep. I think you wipe one. I think you probably want to Envenom Deflect. We have Blue Candle. Oh, I'm a moron. It, we, we only took four damage and we didn't have good cards in hand anyways, but I completely forgot about that. We have Blue Candle. Normality is not that bad. I'm a bit of a fool, okay? Just understand that I, I know that, okay? We have enough block, might as well hit you. I think we, we we lost out on a strike and a finisher, basically. Um, whatever. I'm not that war bent up. I'm not that bent out of shape about that. Ascension level 20 plays, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So there's Catalyst. Might as well stack up the poison. You're dead. So the bandage up is for. The bandage up is there to help me if I make a mistake. <laughs> if, more like when, look. 
I'll take another cloak and dagger. Why not? It's upgraded. I have to take the key. Yoink. Maybe a bad, you know, choice of pathing, but I wanted to hit the question mark. We could hit the second elite and then rest if we have to. Honestly, like, why not? We've already fought Reptomancer. They're the annoying one. It's gonna be a leg sweep. This is fine. It's not great, but it's fine, because we can play both Cloak and Daggers. And we can also hit with a Neutralize and turn. Do I stream for a living? No, but I'd like to, that'd be fun. I'll lose one HP, we have a bandage. We'll defend, survivor, do damage to all of them, still have one energy for a strike. Yeah, I think Nemesis and Big Giant Head are not gonna be too bad for us. The Nemesis does suck because of the fact that they put in so many uh, burns, but otherwise they're not too horrible. This will kill you. The intangibility also doesn't really matter because we can just stack up the poison and then catalyst it on a turn when they're not uh, hitting. You're dead. Good. Bandage? Nope. <laughs> Prepare to outmaneuver expertise. I'm gonna say no thank you. We'll fight an elite, it's the head. Head is also not that bad because we play so many attacks. Although we're not getting any blocks turn one, might want to use Entropic Brew. Skill Potion, get a skill. So, we're gonna Shiv, Shiv, Shiv. Skill Potion, that's the block we need. We might as well burst it, but let's play some more attacks. Well, we might as well burst it now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. Then backflip. Now we have full block. Guess we didn't have to do that. There's normality. That's the only thing that could have gone wrong. We can't play finisher, but I still think we're okay against this guy. This is what we're looking for. Lots of cloak and daggers. I mean, we're putting up 50 block on a turn. That's pretty good. Just waiting on Envenom. <laughs> There's Envenom. Now, I'm not gonna Catalyst, because we need to save Catalyst for either Burst or when he's got more poison on him. It's gonna be a tough fight, but I think we can get it. I hate this turn because we are going to take damage. Let's use Dex Potion first. I fucked it up a little bit. We're going to lose out on whatever damage this strike is, but... We're also going to lose out on a little bit of block because we could have gotten two more from the bullet time. That, that was an unfortunate play. Bit of a misplay. Looking for a burst, didn't get it. Let us Cloak and Dagger neutralize Shiv Shiv. Could be a good turn for Catalyst. I think it's probably worth it. Then, let's burst. Blade Dance. We're gonna burst escape plan as well. Got a decent amount of block from that. Now do you burst deadly poison or play a poison step? I think you burst deadly poison. We're gonna take another eight damage. It's still fine, you know, we still have to rest at the, the campfire anyways. Play normality, you fool. Then, backflip. Backflip, bullet time. 
Cloak and Dagger. Strike, Shiv, Shiv. Pl I'm playing cards in the wrong order, admittedly. We should be playing the attacks last. But he is dead. We will rest, be it nearly full health. Pantograph. Thank you, game, for the Panto of the Grapho. That is an amazing get. Dude, how the hell, by the way, are we going to actually kill this boss? Lose 143 gold or Endless Agony Plus. We don't need it, but I like that it's free, but we don't need it. But I like that it's free, but we don't need it. Um, honestly, you can have that. Okay, Shiv, Shiv, Shiv. Dramatic, strike, strike, backstab, cloak, Shiv, Shiv. We are gonna be constricted. Uh, there's normality, make sure you dump it. Pretty bad turn, all things considered. We're gonna take some damage, eight. But we also had pretty bad draw. Backflip. Definitely hoping for a burst, that's okay. We have enough block, so we should poison stab finisher deflect. Dude, a shuriken would be amazing, I will say. <laughs> After image, bullet time, and venom, play everything. Uh, time Lord does suck, but we have the catalyst. Maybe we can make something happen. I would have definitely have loved to have picked up a, uh, a malaise, but we couldn't have the, we didn't find the opportunity to take a malaise. So we'll rest. It's an overheal, but you can't do anything else. Hello, Time Eater. Ascension level 20. Okay, Piercing Whale means we take none. Then you just play your shivs. You want the decks. I want to make you weak. And turn. We can only play five cards. So one, two, Three, four, five. I can't get a dex upgrade if I play after image, but it is after image. Um, I think I'd rather get the dex upgrade though, so I think I'm gonna play Cloak and Dagger, and then Cloak and Dagger, and then a Shiv is gonna be discarded. One, two, three, four, five. Do damage, get the dex up. You're plus two strength, I hate it. Gotta dump it. Might as well play everything. We're gonna take some damage. Pantograph will heal us between fights. All we need to do is live and somehow kill Time Eater, but we only have three cards this turn. So, one, two, three. <laughs> Kind of unfortunate. We're gonna take another uh, bunch. Don't run the math, just believe. First, bandage. Cloak and dagger. Shiv, 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 shiv. Give me a backflip. Oh, we can only play one card next turn. But I'm gonna do it. <laughs> we can at least hold on to the backflip. And you're doing 36 damage, huh? Well, this is the most block we can put up. We'll do it. We're gonna get hit for 31. Fuck these bosses, dude. Like, come on. You can play three cards. I can't play three cards. What we're gonna do is end turn, hold leg sweep. F these bosses that just perfectly counter like a particular deck archetype, you know what I mean? Three cards. 
One. Two, three. Hold Lake Sweep. He's eight strength up. Wish we had another uh, Piercing Whale. No point playing anything. We could hold Burst, and Burst might not, we might not draw Backflip, but we will draw a Burst. So we're actually gonna hold on to Lake Sweep. Now, what are you doing? You're doing a lot of damage. I think you probably burst leg sweep. And then backflip. Or do you back. Yeah, I mean, th we can play 12 cards this turn. We might as well go all out. Then. Uh. Probably just. Play one Blade Dance or two. I think you probably play two Blade Dances. You add some shivs to your discard pile, but... You know, you get some damage dealt. We can hold on to a Burst. That was a pretty bad turn, though, because all we did was get in Venom and Weakness, <laughs> it feels like. But, you know, it is what it is. Get that slime out of here. Oh, we can put damage up. I love it. Then end turn. Hold an escape plan. We are eight decks up, which is nice, but he's doing a lot of damage, and we get three cards. So you block, you block, and you escape plan. Escape plan. Defend. Survivor. Hold on to deadly poison. We have the energy to play cards. We need damage. We're, we're dead. We're actually taking 20. Oh! Time Lord! If we had malaise, we can kill Time Lord. But for malaise, burst, and adrenaline, I took the malaise. And we didn't find another burst. We didn't find another adrenaline. We didn't find another malaise. Maybe I should have just added in the malaise because it counters... Time Lord, it counters the Awakened One. You know? Should've just... Should've just added in the malaise. We had three bursts in the deck because I duplicated it twice. That's why we had three bursts in the deck. But the malaise... I guess if we added in malaise, we would've gotten three malaises in the deck. Which is pretty good, still. And you can play it for zero, but... I really wanted to get the burst because if you burst Cloak and Dagger, if you burst Blade Dance, you get a lot of extra shivs and you get a lot of extra decks from it and you can duplicate playing your blocks and your draws and then you can play uh, Bullet Time. I guess I should have taken the malaise. In hindsight, you know, knowing where the deck ended up, yes, having the ability to reduce the strength and apply weakness to enemies repeatedly with three of them in the deck would be strong. But honestly, I thought that we would probably have a good enough time with the uh, the burst being able to d duplicate up on defense. But Time Eater can uh, counters the deck. You know, we play a lot of weak attacks in order to gain decks, and this is the the perfect counter to that. And it's frustrating. Slay the Spire is frustrating like that when you build a deck around a particular type of play style and you fight a boss. It exactly counters it. But oh well, better luck next time.